Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back office. The postman was dragging his bulging sack across the driveway this morning, full of stuff. So I thought we'll go through some of it. Just unboxing now. Not really. Maybe I might just mention what I intend to do with some of these things. This one is a touchscreen panel. How sexy is that? Self-contained touchscreen panel, quite heavy actually, it's glass. Um, got the USB touchscreen interface on it there, HDMI full size, backlight on offable. And uh, can you tell what I'm gonna do? I'm probably gonna build it into a box like this to make a portable video gaming, an emergency in-box portable video gaming system. Let's get that out of the way. Next item, yeah, this is a interesting one. This is a clone of that 3M foamy tape they use to stick GPSs and things like that on your dashboard. I did try a little bit of this earlier. It does work. It doesn't seem quite as sticky, but once it has stuck, it does seem to stay stuck. So that was quite good because the 3M stuff's quite expensive, whereas this is a few quid from China. This next item in this box, I'm going to turn it upside down. It's got all my secret details on it, so secret. But that's basically what's in it. This is, if I can get it out, very interesting package. Bloody hell, it's heavy. <laughs> this is a battery pack of the kind used for charging your phone when you're on the go. Um, I'm probably going to do a teardown video of this, but it was, I think it was about a tenner or so. I'll get more details when you go through that video, but crikey, that's heavy. So it's got a battery meter, got some sort of uh, USB charger, it seems a micro, and then a couple of USD ports. It says LED there. Could it have a torch? And it does, it has a torch too. So that looks like a bloody weapon rather than a charger. Um, and just to give you an idea of what I was gonna do with that, that's gonna go with that monitor in that box you see. So I have my self-contained Raspberry Pi gaming system that can be charged up. Let's open the next one. No idea what this one is. As you can see, the other ones I'd already opened just to sort of save you your time. But this time I decided you're gonna witness the full experience. Ah, excellente. So this was uh, a couple of quid again. This is just a cheap USB hub. Um, and that's gonna go in that box game because uh, I needed to I need something to plug the controllers into. And you can see from here, it's a really crappy, plasticky cheap quality but that's fine because I don't want to really use the plastic bits I just wanted a panel mount USB and it was actually cheaper just to buy the whole hub with three plus one it's four but I don't know if I'll be able to use that one um, just ready to go and that's you know I, I rarely seem to buy these days the components I just seem to buy objects to dismantle and take the components out of what a world we live in when you can do that so this one is very interesting because it's coming to Andrew Armstrong, the back office production. So I don't think this is something uh, I've ordered. In fact, it's from, and uh, I'll blur that out there so you don't get spam mail, Super Speed at Super Gaming. And you can catch out Super Gaming's uh, YouTube channel. I'll put a link to it down below if I remember. And if I don't remember, shout at me and then I will. Let's see what he has sent me. And this, again, might be safe for another video. Oh, it's, it's a few objects. Three, four, five, few things. Right. The first thing is a Casio Natural VPAM. Mm -mm. An old calculator, but it seems to work. That's a bit strange. Normally I'm uh, quite used to calculators that don't work, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. I didn't know Casio made calculators, frankly. Well, I knew they made calculators, but I haven't seen a contemporary one. A mysterious pen drive. Um, hmm. Let's see what that says there on the bag. Could be full of some spyware that I'll load in and it will ruin my uh, computer. This is again Maplin PC Tracker Lock software CD. It's a weird, you can hardly read it until you shine it in the light. So I don't know if he's gone over that in a pen or if it's just a mystery. Maybe he's trying to keep that a mystery for me. Is that a tracker lock pen drive? Hmm, I'll examine that. And it looks like a bunch of LEDs and a few resistors. So thank you very much, uh, Super Gaming or Super Speed. You can decide which you want to be called uh, going forward. Uh, I'm going to be looking forward to playing with all of these. So hopefully that's uh, a bit of some interest to you guys at home. And as ever, thank you for watching. All the things! I have all the things! Indeedy.